I want to talk about simple versus compound interest. In the case of simple interest, what you receive is you receive interest on the principal amount or the original amount of the savings or the loan only. So in the case of simple interest, interest on principal only. So for example, if we look at the case where we have $100 in our account and the interest rate is 6%, well, what do you get each year in interest? You get 0 0.06 times 100, or you get $6 per year in interest. And so in 10 years, let's say 10 years from now, your account balance will have, or your total will be, 100, the original amount you put in your account, plus all the interest you received, 10 times 60. You receive $60 a year in interest, so, I'm sorry, $6 a year in interest. So let me just scribble that out, make that $6. So you receive $160. Now, when you have compound interest, you receive interest on, on the original amount of the loan, so compound interest, interest on the principal amount, and any previously received interest. So let's see how that looks. If it happens to be the case where we're talking about, uh, again, $100 and 6%, the amount of interest you get each year is going to be different. So in year one, you're going to get 0 0.06 times 100 or you're going to get six dollars in interest just like you did in the first case. In year two, if you've left the money in there, you're going to get 0 0.06 times 106. Why? Because you earned six dollars in interest the period before if you left it in the account. Now this six percent gives you interest on the original hundred plus on the six dollars in interest you already received so you get $6.36 in interest. So that's nice to get another $0.36. Cents. All right, not too much to get excited about. But in year three, it's going to be even more. It's going to be 0 0.06 times how much is in your account? 106 plus $6.36. So you're going to have $112.36. So let's see how much interest you get. 0 0.06 times 112.36 and so you get six dollars and seventy four cents in interest so each year you're going to get more and more interest and we'll see when we work out future value if we want to figure out what this is worth in ten years there's a formula and I have a tutorial for that but if we use compound interest $100 times 1.06 raised to the 10th power. So I want to compare it to how much we had in the account when we used simple interest. We only had $160 in the account. In this case, you're going to have, let's see how much you have in the account. We'll raise it to the 10th power and then multiply it by 100. You're going to have $179 in the account. And eight cents. So you can see with simple interest you had 160. With compound interest, your balance in 10 years is 179.08. So you're much better off with compounding. And the longer the compounding period, the more and more interest you'll be getting. In fact, I believe Albert Einstein said that 
compound interest was the uh, greatest mathematical discovery because your money just keeps growing faster and faster and faster. And uh, a, common, a common example in many financial textbooks is to take the $24 in trinkets that Peter Minuet paid for Manhattan in 1626, I believe, and if the amount was earning let's say 6%. Now, this is 2012 that I'm making up this this little video. That's 386 years. So we're talking 386 years. So if you use simple interest, you're going to get 0 0.06 times $24. So let's see how much interest you receive each year. So 0 0.06 times 24 so you get a dollar 44 in interest each year so if we figure out what that's worth using simple interest so the simple interest case here what's the total going to be in 2012 well the total is going to be so I'll put total 2012 it's going to be the $24 that you originally put in the account. So the Native Americans took their 24 bucks. Plus, you're going to have 300, there shouldn't be a dot there, 386 times $1.44. So let's see how much money that is. 386. So each year they're getting a whopping $1.44 in interest times $1.44 plus 24. So the total in the bank account with simple interest is $579.84. Okay? Certainly Manhattan is worth more than that. How about if they earned compound interest? In the case of compound interest, the total would be equal to and again we'll look at future value with compound interest in greater detail in another tutorial but we take the twenty four dollars we multiply it by one point oh six raised to the three hundred and eighty six power and in fact it's going to be such a large number it's going to be hard for us to figure it out on the calculator because it's going to give a scientific notation one point oh six raised to the 386 power okay so what's what is that that's uh, billion so that the multiplication factor is billions so it's almost six billion times twenty four dollars all right they have one point four zero six three nine three raised to the ten to the eleventh power so you have to move the decimal place eleven places um, well, let's see, we had 6 billion times 2 would be 12 billion and add another zero, so in the hundreds of billions of dollars. So you can see that you get a much, much larger number when you use compound interest. Here it's a measly $579.84. I think most of us would be more than happy to buy Manhattan for $579.84 but here you're talking about in the billions or trillions of dollars because of compounding.